When I do a dupes video, I'm always trying to find great replacements or great substitutions for really amazing makeup, right? Well, this time we are taking a look at makeup that I did not like at all. It is, in my opinion, garbage makeup, makeup that just is not that good. And then I'm giving you an alternative for what works wonderful and the makeup that I absolutely am in love with right now. So we're gonna get into doing that video and showing you some great alternatives to some really nasty makeup right now. And before we take the time to do that, I will just show you my shirt really quickly up on the screen because everybody always asks about what I have on. This shirt is in a medium. It's true to size and I really like it. It's a waffle knit t-shirt, lightweight, long sleeve with a little bit of extra accent on the neck and everything that I have on for makeup, jewelry, and all of the other accessories will be listed and linked down below. And hopefully I'll remember to put it in the first pinned comment as well. Okay, let's start out with the makeup that I really am not impressed with. And a lot of this has just been released. So let's talk about tinted hydrators or skin tints. Oh my goodness, there was a lot of those this year. And I purchased several of them, got a couple of them sent to me. Um, I got sent to me one from Bobbi Brown and I got sent to me one from Smashbox Halo and then I purchased one from Tula. Now, normally I love Tula. I love their concealer. It's serum-like, but it has really yummy skin-loving ingredients. And that is what all of these skin tints or skin tinted hydrators, excuse me, that's what they claim to do. And this one from Tula says, radiant skin brightening serum skin tint with a sunscreen of 30. And it says it has probiotics and superfoods, has some really great ingredients in it. However, it does not look good on the skin. This was extremely greasy feeling on my skin and I have very dry skin at 55 years old. So I'm always looking for things to make my skin look and feel more hydrated but this just felt like grease so could not do that one also the bobby brown and the halo both of these were got really modeled on my skin bobby brown says enriched skin tint broad, broad spectrum of 15 also bobby brown sent me two or three colors and the colors were so yellow it was terrible and so i would not recommend that one the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer has an SPF of 25. This one got completely modeled on me. So it did not play well with my skincare that I had underneath my the makeup that I was trying to do. So none of these worked for me. I know that this is supposed to be like your moisturizer and your primer and your skin tint, but none of these work for me. I guess I'm old school where I need some coverage, but at the same time, I don't want to have that greasy, heavy feel on my skin. So all three of those were not good. But I do want to tell you that the two that I'm going to show you from number seven, I have been trying for quite some time, except for this one right here that is a fairly new one. So let me tell you what these two are. Oh, this one right here. This is the new one. Okay, the number seven protect and perfect intense intense advanced all-in-one foundation and this has a sunscreen of 50 it says targets the appearance of the first signs of age aging with medium coverage beautiful foundation this is so much like the it cosmetic cc cream if you like that one this is a little bit better to me because it doesn't wear off during the day like the cc cream has a tendency to do at times this is a gorgeous foundation that i have been wearing for years and years and have put it in so many videos and i really highly recommend this for somebody that has aging skin now the new one from number seven and i think this came out last year or in 2022 not 23 and this is the hydroluminous aqua release skin perfected tint tinted moisturizer and our hydration light coverage now i was really surprised that i love this because of the light coverage i normally would go for something that had a much heavier coverage you know, at least a medium, but I have found that this is so perfecting and so pretty and the moisturization in it is spot on. I love that about it. So I'm really excited about it and I can't wait for you to try this because I have not seen anybody talk about it. And if you're somebody that likes that lighter coverage, but you do 
do still like a little bit of evening of your skin tone and the moisturization. This is gorgeous. So those are my first ones. Now, ta-da, I promised that I would announce the winners of the giveaway. So here we go. I have two domestic winners, meaning the ones that I can ship to in the U.S. And this one is to Chantelle Avance. I hope that's right, 10, and that she's in the U.S. in Louisiana, so she's going to get one of the packages. And then our other domestic winner is from South Carolina, and it's Jan Bazaar. And then the next one, this is Lenes, Leneskov. Oh, I'm so bad at this. 5184. And she is from Denmark. She's our international winner. So she's going to win a $100 gift card to anywhere she would like. Now, I need all of you to contact me at the email address right here that I'm going to throw up on the screen. You need to contact me and let me know that you are the winner. We will get in contact and I'll make sure that you get all of your goodies right away. I'm so excited for you to all get them. So congratulations to everyone and contact me as soon as possible possible because if you don't contact me within just a few days, I will go ahead and pick another winner so that I can get these out to people that are watching. So make sure that you contact me as soon as you possibly can. All right, I do have a lot of foundations and concealers in here, so bear with me. The next one is from Jones Road, and this was her new foundation, and it's called What the Foundation, and it's the Moisture Tint. This one is a cream product. This one is not good for my mature skin. It's a mousse-like texture, sort of, but oh my goodness, it doesn't go across my skin very nice. It ended up looking streaky and cakey right off the bat. And I tried it with a sponge, I tried it with a brush, and it just didn't work for me. I don't like the fragrance either, and that surprises me that she puts fragrance in there because um, Bobbi Brown is supposed to be known for, you know, knowing makeup and everything, and I was really surprised that there was so much fragrance in here. Yeah, that was not one that I was very pleased with. However, if you're looking for a cream makeup, I am wearing this one today, and it is the Good Apple Foundation from KVD in the cream, and this is a fantastic fantastic foundation. I have had this for a long time, used it over and over again, got a pretty good dent going in there. I used my makeup sponge to put this on with. I don't use a brush because I get too much on if I do that. And you need a very tiny, tiny amount. You're gonna get beautiful coverage. It's never going to look cakey or streaked. And I love that about it. The other thing is that my mature dry skin loves this in the winter because it is that cream makeup. And it really does play well with all of my other skincare any other primers that I put under it. It's just a beautiful foundation, covers so very well. So very little goes a very long way. And that's what I love about it because the less makeup you use, the better off you are. Another one that I was very disappointed in for a foundation is the MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation. Okay, this one did not have any coverage whatsoever. And the radiance on it just settled into my texture of my pores and my fine lines and made them look so bad. And I really put this on, took it off, tried to put it on again and took it off again. And then I tried another day, same thing, put it on and off twice and it just did not work. So I was so disappointed in this because I'm a MAC fan of their base makeup. Their Studio Radiance regular foundation is quite pretty on mature skin and so i really have loved that in the past and i just found that this one just did not hit the mark for me so pass on that one for me but if you're looking for a substitute that i feel like is one of the prettiest skin like foundations very lightweight it is the denissa myrick's yummy skin foundation this is a serum foundation again it's got that great ingredients those great ingredients in it that are great for your skin lots of hydration I love this, especially again in the winter when it's so very dry. This is a beautiful foundation on my dry mature skin. I will say that you do need to powder this down just a little bit or use some setting spray because it is that serum foundation and it is very, very radiant. But I do lo love this foundation if you're oily or your combo oily, you know, leaning towards the oily side, I would say that you're not gonna love this, but I really do love this one and I reach for it all the time and I think that you'll love it too. Now here's one that you either loved or hated if you tried. 
This is the Danessa Myrix. This is the Universal. This is supposed to be a foundation uh, powder. And I'm sorry, I do not see that this is a powder. First of all, it's highly silicone ba based. It's just a bunch of silicones in there that kind of dry down to feel like a powder, yes. But when I put this on my on top of my already done makeup every single time, this is gonna disrupt my makeup and it's gonna make my makeup look mottled and pilled and I just don't like the way this works. I thought that this would be really good to go underneath makeup, but then I found that it's too heavy to go underneath makeup. So that was one of the things about this that I just could not get on board with. So this one was just a big fat no for me. I tried it in a color and then I tried it in this one and neither one worked for me. But I did find that I love the Revlon Colorstay Grip 16 Hour Matte Primer. This one reminds me so much of a MAC primer that I use that I just use on my pores and around the T-zone where I get breakthrough. This is gorgeous. I used this actually in that T-zone today and I really love the way that this perfects and fills in my pores and yet it doesn't feel like it's super matte. That's one thing that I have to be careful, careful with with having dry skin, but boy, if you're oily skin, use this all over and you are going to absolutely love it. I also love that gripping property that it has, like the e.l.f. grip primer and also the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's a lot like that, but it's on the matte side. And that's what I like about it is that it perfects those pores and really helps keep all that breakthrough at bay throughout the day without any issues whatsoever as far as the drying part of it. So this one is a yes for me and I wanted to share it with you. This one I might get a little bit of pushback over. As much as I've told you that I love the Triclone Foundation from House Labs, beautiful foundation, it has a ton of silicones in it that just make it glide across your skin and it's airbrushed perfection. I was super excited when they came out with the concealer. I could not wait. I pre-ordered it and then when it came and I thought it didn't work because of the color, I ordered some more colors. So I actually have it in three colors. Guess what? All three colors don't work. I was so disappointed in this. It look, looked terribly cakey and it settled into the fine lines that I have. It did not look smooth the minute that I put it on. I was so disappointed in this concealer. I can't even begin to tell you. And I know that it works so well for so many people, but it creased on me completely throughout the day. Again, it was a situation where I took it off, tried again, put it back on, tried to wear it. I, I tried every way possible to love this couldn't love it. But I will tell you one that came out this year that I can wholeheartedly give my stamp of approval on. This is from Tower 28. And the reason that I love this so much is because it doesn't matter when I put it on, it's going to look beautiful on my mature skin and underneath my eyes. Today I was doing my makeup and I put it on and you know, usually I wait for my concealer and my foundation to dry down before I put a tiny bit of powder on it to you know keep it in place and i always have to look in the 10 times magnifying mirror in order for me to make sure that i'm not getting any creasing and because every time i usually do and i have to tap out the creases before the powder goes on there not with this even today and i was still even shocked at how pretty it is on my skin it's just one of those ones that from the very minute I got it, I have been loving it and singing its praises ever since. And I think you're gonna like it too. Flower Beauty, I was so excited to see that they came out with a few things because they haven't come out with anything in such a long time. This is an, an under eye corrector pen and it's a crayon and I was really excited about it. Even the color of it as I was using it, I was excited about because I thought this is a great color. It's that peach tone that we need to counteract the bluish undertones that we have underneath our eyes. But by the time I got done working this in, there was nothing. There was no pigment. There was nothing that stayed there. It had come off, rubbed off, and there was no point in even using it. This is just a little bit too emollient or not enough pigment in it. And I was very disappointed that it didn't tick any of the boxes that I need for a color corrector. So my suggestion to you is just go back to the good old tried and true Pixie by Petra color corrector. This is my new one. 
I have used so many of these throughout the years. This has great pigment. It's a beautiful color. It has enough of a pigment and enough of the grip that's going to look pretty underneath any concealer that you use. You need so very little of it and it's going to be there all day long. It's a great product and it doesn't wipe away. It's just, it's beautiful and I love it. So definitely go back to the Pixie by Pe Petra if you haven't tried it already you might want to pick one up. Moira, again, one of my favorite brands out there is Moira. I love their eyeshadows, their blushes. There are so many products in their line that I absolutely love. And so during the holidays, they came out with this big humongous pan of highlighter and I was really excited to get it. But when I got it, it has a ton of glitter in it. It's a beautiful high beam, yes, but it's got all of this tons of glitter and, and the glitter falls out it's all over your face it might be okay to use this as an eyeshadow if you're somebody that likes glitter but i'm not even somebody that really likes glitter in my eyeshadow i like metallic but i'm not a huge fan of glitter so this was just a big no for me if the texture was okay on it it was um quite nice actually on the texture but it just was a big no for me so i pulled out to share with you once again the palette from flower beauty that i absolutely love and it's got three colors in here you would not need any other color at all if you bought this i this is my second one of these palettes i hope they never ever get rid of this and if they do i'm going to cry you stick your finger in there and i'm telling you you have just a buttery beautiful selection of different highlighters and the one thing that i really like about it is that as i'm using it and i always use it under blush i can feel the creaminess and the that buttery silkiness that it has as a powder without showing that texture it's just so pretty i do have it on today and you can just tap it across there and make it even more high beam than it already is it's just so pretty and then i did get my hands on this lips and cheek tint from number seven and i'll tell you what this was the same situation as what i was just telling you about flower beauty there's just no pigment in here and this is a lighter color which i thought you know when i originally got i thought okay it might be too light for a blush but i could still use it you know kind of around my eyes a little bit because sometimes that works out really well it just it wipes away to where there's no color whatsoever and not only that, it's kind of chalky as it's drying down. It's not for me. I don't need something that's gonna make my cheeks look even drier. I need something that's gonna make them look more youthful and more plump. So again, I reach right back into my own stash and I find the beautiful Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blushes. I have this darkest one on today, which is called Berry Smooch. It is so pretty and I have loved these for such a long time. And I keep, you know, you get so many things that are new and then you forget how beautiful something is. Once you reach for it again, you just remember, oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. This one right here is called Rose Romance. Love this one as well. This is more of just kind of an average rose color that can go for warm undertones or it can go for cool undertones, neutral, whatever you are, beautiful color too. Look at the saturation in those, isn't that great? And when it dries down, it doesn't dry down to look powdery at all. You still have that dewy look to your skin, so pretty. The last one is called Pink Flirt, and I think this one is beautiful as well. This one is a light one too, but as I'm working with it, you can see that it doesn't wipe away. So beautiful colors on these. And yeah, if you have not tried these before, again, I highly recommend them. And I think that whatever color you pick up, you're gonna really like. Essence came out with two products that are called the Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation and the Long Lasting Concealer. And I will tell you that these not only are they thick and heavy and they don't look good on mature skin but they are so yellow orangey and they be, they continue to oxidize once i put them on my skin that i didn't even wear them for an hour they just did not look good as a finish and they also really were a not good color whatsoever and i can usually handle a little bit of yellow i can color correct it with some blue color correcting foundation drops that i have but 
couldn't happen here. It just I could not make that happen at all. So these were a no for me. What I wanna to suggest to you that if you've been looking for a higher coverage foundation, but you want ones that perform really pretty, aren't very expensive, that I definitely would recommend, that would be the full coverage foundations from Koki and the concealer. Now the concealer did just come out last year and I fell in love with it every bit as much as I love the full coverage foundation. They look so high end and I love their packaging on here, but that's not the reason that I love it. The formula is really good. So on those days or on those um, occasions when you're wanting to have that full coverage, you're wanting something to stay all day long, like if you're going to a wedding or an event and you need the, the coverage, but you want it to look natural, but you want it to stay all day, you don't want it to settle into fine lines and wrinkles, I would suggest these two products. And if you're somebody that loves full coverage anyway, you're gonna love these. Now, on the days that you might not want that much coverage, just drop a little bit of hydrating primer into either of these, you're gonna love them anyway. And I don't find that I even need that with the concealer. The concealer does a great job even on the days when I'm not looking for super full coverage. I just want those blue dark under eyes covered. This still works really good. So I would say definitely skip over this one and head right for Koki because Koki did a great job with both of these. All right, I think that wraps it up for all of the makeup that I do not like, that I really have been very disappointed in, and I might even have a little bit of a dislike and a hatred for them. So those are going to go in the recycle bin or see if somebody else can love them, and I am going to keep my tried and trues that I showed you today. Let me know down in the comment section if there has been a new release that really has disappointed you in 2023 or recently at all. I would really love to hear that from you. And don't forget that everything will be listed and linked below for you. Not the bad products, but the good products. So thank you so much again for spending time with me today. Love you guys so much. Come back around in my very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.